Greetings, everyone. My name is Liz, and I am um, very honored to join you today. Uh, today, I thought we'd start off with um, uh, Heart, Mind is One and, and uh, Awakening the Soul, so our seated, calming down form, Awakening the Soul. So let's uh, come into a standing position, feet about shoulder width apart, parallel, and just begin to sink in to the present moment. Let go of yesterday, forget about tomorrow. Let's take three really deep breaths and hold it a little. When you inhale, hold it, give your lungs time to pick up that oxygen. And so a big, deep inhale, holding. And then a nice long exhale. Let go of any stale air, old chi. Another one. Holding. And then let go. Let go of your old self. Last time, big deep inhale. And exhale. And now breathe normally. So let's uh, loosen everywhere, loosen the joints, the muscles, tendons. Relax the internal organs, the whole trunk. Open everywhere, open the meridians, open the skin pores, become porous. Teacher Lee tells us over and over, chi and love want to come into you, want to help you, but we tend to block that with our, our busy mind or negative thinking or negative emotions blocks it. And we wonder why do we feel lonely? Because we're not allowing the universe to sweep into us and balance us. The chi in the universe is always balanced. It's just when it gets into our bodies and our life situations and critical thinking that it can get stagnant, leading to disease. Relaxing the body, empty the mind. Think of nothing, forget everything in this life. Give your mind a vacation. Give your brain a vacation. It's a beautiful state of nothingness. And very importantly, begin to quiet the heart. Maybe you feel sometimes your heart is inflamed, you're, you're anxious, you're, uh, I, don't, I don't know, just feeling awkward. Let your heart quiet down. So this is us slipping into the Shenzhen state. And we'll do our movements in that state. First off, the Zhongtian movement. Ready, blow. A nice deep inhale, connecting to heaven and then sweeping down as we exhale, purify yourself. And then left over right, thumbs gently touching. Now let's practice together, heart, mind as one. Uh, one of the main purposes of this form is to calm the disposition. 
Wow. When we are calm, when we approach life with a calm attitude, things go so much smoother. Our patience is, is greater. We're able to listen. And so let's take a, a small journey into a calmer disposition, a more stable emotional state. So we start left over right. From the side, it's a little easier for the first two movements. Ready? Begin. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Let's try that once more. Man obtains heaven and its divine empowerment. Never thinking power, but the power of the whole universe is with us. Let's obtain that power right now. Ready? One, two, three, four, five, six. Seven. <clears throat> Second movement. Return to nature. Become one with heaven. Unite with heaven. Ready? Begin. One. Diving, diving. Two. Touching everything. Three. Scoop up the earth. Four, rotate the palms and let's open the front, open the chest. A little bounce. And then that wonderful open posture. Receive chi. Return to nature. Become one with heaven. Continue. Let's go back a little. Palms face down. And scoop. Big scoop. Third movement. Pouring chi into the dantian. So left over right. Lao Gong to Lao Gong, center of palm to center of palm on the Dantian. We're going to shift to the right, up to the heart, center, back down, left to the heart. Inhale up, exhale down. Let the elbows pull the hands up. Elbows wider, elbows closer. Very smooth. Hands are moving on the outside of the body, but chi is moving on the inside. Connecting our dantians and our heart. Pouring chi into the dantian. Once more on each side. And coming to rest on the solar plexus. Savoring that stillness, feeling the chi in the body. Fourth movement, bringing one to the shore of understanding. So we're going to apply a little pressure on the solar plexus and make some small, deep circles. Moving up on the right near the liver. 
and then contracting a little, relaxing on the left. The torso is also moving. And the hands are barely gliding on the surface. Loosen your solar plexus. Relax your internal organs. Inhale up on the right and exhale, relax on the left. I like to imagine light shining from my palms, lighting up my inside, healing light. And relax. Next, we're going to contemplate and reflect. Shift weight to the right and sink. Slipping into a state of grace, of appreciation, gratitude. The generosity of this life and this world. And let's shift over here to the left and sinking. Very stable on your left leg. And now let's descend to earth. Let's lock in the chi into our dantian. So our arms are coming down slowly as our empty knee is going to come up and squeeze. One, two, squeeze. Inhale, exhale. Powerful exhale. Expand. Contract, contract. <laughs> My balance is a little shaky today, but this happens. This is a good way to practice balancing. So feel your weight fully on the, the shifted leg, and then whoosh, one, two, Fully on that leg and then up. Last time. And finish. Our next movement is a position. Shangjian purifies the person. So we're going to come up and prayer position in front of the heart, closing our eyes and feel unconditional love course through the body in every nook and cranny, every cell, every bone, purifying, cleansing the body. He is effervescent, sparkling, saturating the tissues. Shenzhen, the essence of life, purifies the body. And then keeping that feeling, that feeling of being uh, balanced and purified, 
we move on to our next movement, Bridge on Heaven's River. So one, we sink a little, hands to the side, and then two, a slight twist, not too much. Inhale, center, exhale to the left. One, two, like flying, like floating. Slow, symmetrical, synchronized. Smooth, one, two, a little burst, one, two, bridge on heaven's river. You can't see chi, you can't measure it, but you can feel it. Once more on each side. And then our conclusion is just a few little flaps, a little bit of a twist. And finish. Next, we're going to look into the depths of our hearts so from the side as the hips tilt back a little, arms coming up on a diagonal about shoulder height. And look deep into your hearts. And we've already started that process of unraveling, clearing, healing. And we look deeper and deeper till every remnant of darkness is light. And let's continue one, two, three, four. We're going to look at life. Arms floating up higher and higher and higher. Palms facing the crown. Chi from the palms, flowing into the head, down through the throat, through the heart, down to the dantian, then flowing down the legs, to the feet. Any diseased chi, any excess chi, just let it sink into the earth. And then bring your chi up the legs to the dantian, up to the heart, down the arms, back to the hands. Looking at life. When chi is moving, it is healthy. And let's get our chi moving through our bodies. In our final movement, showing the way to better the person. 
in one nice smooth arc to the dantian one two to the heart and three finish Now you feel even calmer, a deep sense of peace. And finish heart, mind as one. I'm going to read a little bit of the poetry, beautiful poetry that accompanies each movement. So let's. Um, First of all, get comfortable. Body is erect, but not rigid. We want a nice uh, flow between uh, in the inner core, between the dantian and the crown, dantian and the knee one. And so we'll begin. First movement is opening the heart. So once we start, let's close our eyes and really go deep into the into the poetry. Ready? Begin. One. Two. Inhale, gradually open your heart. Exhale, relax more. This is the only movement. The rest are positions. So closing your eyes, continue opening your heart. In the core of the soul that yearns to be free shines the light of a gentle moonbeam piercing the daunting darkness of illusion. Lightly caressing the heart open to see a sky so clear, air so refreshing. It is so familiar, though still a memory. Questions arise, what lies beyond? Is it just a moonbeam? Will it stay a wish? Two more times. One. And last time. And hands in prayer position. Next position, love descends on me. So this one, I, I believe we go down, a little down first, and then backs of the hands coming up and up and up and open, open to heaven, open to the universe. She like warm, Rain dropping down onto and into our bodies. Closing our eyes. Like a trusting child at the moment of birth, I receive the love that descends. 
I am bathed in the gifts of the universe. The moonbeam is now a sure shaft of light that stills the chatter of my doubting mind. And then third position, unraveling the heart again. I'm floating up, coming down in front of the heart. Feel your heart expand, filling the chest. Energy and love of the heart expanding out of the chest and engulfing your hands. Heart, chest, and hands unite. The knot in the heart is the feeling of smallness that we know as fear, shame, or pain. It is slowly unraveled, so gently undone, setting the heart free to move once again. In the silence of the process, beneath the feelings of smallness, within lies a wealth we find and reveal our own understanding, compassion for ourselves, the foundation of a heart that is healed. Our own understanding, compassion for ourselves is the foundation of a heart that is healed. Relax and listen to the stirrings of the heart. Next, suddenly lifting the veil. So this is um, unraveling the heart and then tucking the elbows in, splaying the hands and feet, feet scoot a little forward splayed open, suddenly whew, lifting the veil, suddenly everything becomes clear. Next, holding the heavens while grounded on earth. So feet come back in to regular, rotate the hands and then begin to press them up and up and up and up. And the palms are fingertips pointing in and just extend, holding the heavens while grounded on earth. Maybe you feel your hands tingling. And now freeing oneself to become a saint. Gradually hands come down, forming a lotus in front of the heart. Close our eyes again, freeing oneself to become a saint. This giving of oneself with no conditions is freeing oneself to become a saint. And now let's walk to the center of heaven. One. Your lotus blossom floats up and placing it on the crown. Again, closing your eyes. Walk to the center of heaven. The lotus of the heart is now in full bloom. Through the tunnel of light, it glows, it rises. And now our last position, return to the origin. One, palms together, floating up. Two, dropping in front of the heart. Return to the origin. A 
thirst of the heart, all forms of yearning, is a longing to return to the point of origin, a desire to reclaim the self long forgotten, to taste the deep contentment of simply just being. And then finish one, two. And then as we begin, let's conclude with our Zhongtian movement again. Ready, blow. Thanks to the universe, thanks to heaven. Thanks to all of humanity. Thanks to each other. And thanks to nature. Thanks to the earth. We will see you next time, hopefully next Wednesday. Blessings. <laughs>